Legendary Air Force pilot Chuck Yeager died last night. The retired one-star general was the first person to break the sound barrier, becoming an almost mythical American hero. Yeager was 97 years old. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, looks at the life and career of a country boy who became the model for the right stuff. Yeager up clear. It was October 14, 1947, and Chuck Yeager was already an accomplished World War II pilot who'd shot down more than a dozen German adversaries across 64 missions. But on that day, the 24-year-old captain in the Army Air Corps set his course for the history books. And he does it, the first human to crack the sound barrier. 65 years later, to the minute, he rode along to recreate the historic flight. Across a decades-long career, all the aircraft he flew were named Glamorous Glennis for his first wife, who died in 1990. Until that time, we'd never been able to get above the street of sound, pushing through uh, Mach 1, open up space to us. Breaking the sound barrier wasn't Jaeger's only brush with speed. He broke Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, in 1953, and his sonic booms would set the standard for pushing the limits of flight. Jaeger later played a key role in developing U.S. space exploration, training nearly half of the astronauts who served in the Gemini, Mercury, and Apollo programs. Those milestones would later be memorialized in a book and film, The Right Stuff. I'm still going upstairs like a bat out of hell. We didn't even know that we would ever break Mach 1. It's not a matter of thinking that it's possible. Uh, it's duty. It's just like flying combat. It didn't make any difference to me whether I thought the airplane would go fast and sound. I was assigned as a, as a test pilot on it, and it was my duty to fly it. So, wow, and just he a, did that at 24. I think no. when you think of grit, that's what you think of. I mean, with things like this. Tell that story you told, Tony. Well, I was going to say the first flight of anything was 1903. Yeah. yeah. And then just 40 <laughs> years later, we're going Mach 1, and he's yeah. the one doing he, it. He was asked on Twitter, how did, how did breaking the sound barrier feel? And, he's, and he wrote, considering everyone was sure anyone who did would blow all apart to pieces, surviving was good. <laughs> so, The Right Stop is one of my favorite books. There's a lot of stories you could tell. Actually, I think the better one is anytime you hear a pilot, even to this day, talk on. Uh, on, on the uh, intercom about like, well, I'm going to go up around here and duck around here. Yeah. They are mimicking the style of Chuck Yeager. Right. His voice in the cockpit is the voice that all pilots use. That's what yeah. that's what Tom Wolf reported. He, he was an aviation yeah. legend, you know, from the moment that he broke the sound barrier. But uh, we, it, right stuff made him a, a yeah. hero. Yeah, he does have the right stuff.